So I have a spare M8Q-5883, and I'm just going to wire it up here real quick with this six-pin DuPont connector. You can see my colors are black, red, blue, yellow, green, and white right straight across. Very luckily for me, the color codes in this match exactly the color codes of the wire that came with the GPS. Now there is one little thing I want to show you and you'll notice the third wire in this is in fact yellow. And look over here at the screen real quick. This was that point in this one I was discussing it before that bothered me that there was a red, a black, and then a red or an orange wire, well, we see now, in fact, on the wiring harness itself, this wire is, in fact, yellow. So it's actually red, black, yellow, blue, white, green. Now, let's see if I've still got my wiring diagram up here. Okay, so if we look at this wiring diagram real quick, you'll notice... Left to right here is exactly like this. Voltage, ground, RX, TX, data, clock. And I've got the colors exactly like they are in the wiring harness. Red, black, yellow, blue, white, green red black yellow yeah that's yellow trust me <laughs> it, it's red on this picture but it's yellow in the harness blue white green and what i've done is i've matched that up exactly with the well this is the flight controller i'm wiring it for but it's the same on almost every last one of them at the bottom here this time we're going to go uh whoops we'll go left to right again just for kicks and grins so right here this six right here is where we're going we want data data clock clock transmit transmit receive receive voltage voltage ground ground and now if we take these things and draw a line through them you will see that the wire colors are exactly the same on each side but when you take yellow to yellow you're taking RX to TX. When you take blue to blue, you're taking TX to RX. This is receive on the flight controller. This is transmit on the GPS module. This is receive on the GPS module. This is transmit on the flight controllers. Here's your voltage and ground. And then the DA and the CL just go straight to each other uh, let me show you that on the picture I have here so I haven't put the lines in word yet the blue lines here but I will you can see that DL goes to DL CL goes to CL receive to transmit transmit to receive voltage to voltage ground to ground and I'm going to sort of this up so there we go there's a M8Q-5883 wiring harness made up. Like I say, all the colors of the six wires in this connector are exactly the same colors as the same wires in this connector, so it was really easy to make this up. I just used all green shrink wrap on the six individual wires underneath here because that's what I had the most of that was in the size I needed. And then I just kind of bound it all together with a little larger shrink wrap same thing down here just hold them together now this isn't extra work for me this is the cable I need for that GPS to work on my second sky hunter 
and it goes on this flight controller right across those six uh, pins. Oops. Hard to look through the camera and do it. There we go. There we go. Now that's, yep, that's down. So there it is across those six pins. Black, red, blue, yellow, green, white. Let's see how it works. Well, rats. I think it's wired correctly and will work correctly. As you see, we have GPS no fix here. This is a H743 wing that I'm actually doing it on. That's all I have. Yeah, and the accelerometers work on it. And let's see here. I'm going to sit here and wait a little bit to see if I get a 3D fix because I'm in the basement. Uh, that's why it probably says no fix. It just needs time to read in the encyclopedia and find the constellations. So I'm going to let this sit here a few minutes. But I didn't do anything inside the software. Matter of fact, I'm just going to back off real quick and upgrade this just for kicks and grins to the current version of Arduplane. And this is H743. Yep. Yep. I'm just... The uh, GPS is still powered up. The GPS can still uh, see what it needs to see to lock up satellites. All it needs to be is powered. What data is coming back to the flight controller at this time doesn't matter. Just that it's powered up and it's doing its own thing, getting some sat locks. In the meantime, with it powered up, I can flash the flight controller here and it won't really interrupt anything. It's just bringing it up to the current uh, 4.2.3. And with that done, we'll connect up again. And again, I just went to the current version of software. No fix, which the GPS is working. And let's see, if I rotate the module, we're going to look and see if this starts moving up here. Yep. I rotate the module, pointing it more north. I'm going to point it south. Oops. Moved my uh, flight controller around. <laughs> but you can see it's working its way towards the fact that the compass is now pointing south. So I do think the compass, I just let go of it. It's basically pointing west now. So it's going back towards the west. I will let it sit here while I do some other things. And we'll see if it actually locks up some satellites. I feel like it will. If it doesn't, then it'll probably need to be taken outside. But I have complete confidence. By the way, we can come in here to messages and see. GPS-1 detected as U blocks at 230,400 baud. Saving config. So I honestly think by wiring this compass GPS module correctly and just simply plugging it into a H743 wing, it works for me. Uh, 
We'll come back in a few minutes and see if it's got any sats locked up. Well, this has been sitting here for a half hour or more now, and it's not getting a GPS lock. Because when I move the uh, module, rotate it, like I just did, you can see I just pointed it basically north, and it's moving towards the north. It's not been calibrated, but it's still working. I'm pretty sure my CL and DL lines are correct, and the compass is working. I'm pretty sure the GPS is working because it says GPS no fix here and it also has GPS detected and stuff here. I don't think it would work correctly if the transmit and receive line for the GPS wasn't hooked up correctly. I don't think it would get this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up a table outside real quick and take my notebook and take this little test set up out there and see if it'll lock up out there well I just set this up outside the basement door and walked back to my workstation to get my camera to film this and before I could get back it's already locked up so you can see on the GPS now in addition to the red light for power on we have the little other green bluish light flashing showing I have a 3d lock and on the screen, you can see I'm locked up with eight satellites. Seven now. Eight, seven, eight. <laughs> so it just needed to be taken outside. So with the wiring the way I have it, I did not have to do anything inside Mission Planner. The test is the M8Q5883 hooked to a H743 wing. I don't have a, I have a F65 wings and H743 wings. That's all I have. Got some MRO controllers, but anyway. So no, if the wiring is correct, it should just work out of the box. There's nothing else to do. If it says no fix, then just taking it outside will probably do it. Some days I lock up in the basement and some I don't. It just depends on the horizon and where the satellites are currently uh, at. So if it says no GPS, then I would suggest that the TX and RX wires are not correct. And again, uh, I'll show you one more thing on my computer in the uh, on the bench. So the other thing I would check real quick if this says no GPS instead of no fix is that like I say TX and RX are reversed. Switch them around see if it changes from no GPS to no fix. Also you can come over in messages here's GPS U-Blocks 1 saving configuration uh, see if there's any messages U-Blocks 1 hardware software over in status, you can go over where the G GPS is. This would be your second GPS right here, status, but first GPS shows as a one, which I think means it's there and working. Again, it will not, even though it got the uh, lock outside, just now when I bring it inside, it will not uh, lock up in here. And you can see other things are moving in the GPS telemetry range here. By the way, these are all the telemetry values that are transferred with Mavlink. <laughs> There's a bunch of them. Anyway, if it says no GPS, reverse TX and RX, see if that fixes it. If you rotate it and there's not some movement up here, then probably CL and DA are not correct, clock and data. That's about all I can imagine because wired the way I wired it plugged into this controller it just works out of the box there's nothing to do and we're talking about Ardu plane if you're talking about Ardu rover or Ardu boat or whatever it could be a little different it did lock up in the basement but it's not getting as many satellites in the basement as here as it does outside so 
I feel there's absolutely nothing wrong with the wiring. So two or more people were asking me about wiring up this GPS and I started to just answer their question but decided to turn this into a uh, wiring video for the general public. And the reason it locked up in the basement when it wouldn't before was when it was outside reading in the encyclopedia and stuff from the uh, GPS system. It stores some of that data to battery backed up memory on the GPS module. And later, it doesn't have to read all that back in if it doesn't move far from the last place it was. So that's why it locked up inside when I said, yeah, it probably wasn't. They just couldn't get that data originally inside. Outside it got it. And then when it came back inside, it was able to utilize what it had in battery backed up memory and get some satellites locked up here in the basement. While I was editing the video, I found some other information. Uh, GPS status zero if it's not working correctly. <laughs> If it's a one, it'll be no fix. If it's a three, that means you have a 3D fix. As you can see now, we have a 3D fix in the basement again. <laughs> so the GPS, first GPS status is a three. I'd say when it's got a saddle, one satellite, but no 3D fix yet, it's probably a two. And when I unplug it physically from the board, it quickly drops to a zero and this goes to no GPS. I bet you dollars to donuts. This is the signal that's behind this. So, all right, just wanted to add that in. Have a good one. Thank you guys.